just on our way to see the, well, they used to be called fairy penguins, now they're called little penguins. I'm trying to be pretty politically correct as usual. Basically they're little penguins, tiny, I think they're the smallest ones of the species, so they're supposed to come in here at night. So I will freeze my knackers off just to bring you some footage. The excitement is helpful here, they're on their way. Coming. We've got the first straggler came in first, he's like a scout. Make sure everything's okay, I've got him on film. Now we're waiting for the masses to come. Masses of little penguins. So exciting. David Attenborough, eat your heart out. <laughs> so, there's, there's a few there, but they're not coming forward as quickly as we hoped. <laughs> We've been here another 20 minutes and they're still doing their hair and their makeup before they come to the back. Waxing the bikini line. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why it takes them so long. It, it's literally taken a half an hour to get to, out of the water and it's taken another three quarters of an hour to move 10 feet. I think four stars. Just saying. So, just an update. The crowd is thinning out, thinning out dramatically. Now, I'm not saying they're taking their time, these penguins, but it's been a while. And it is getting a lot darker and the wind is picking up. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but these penguins are definitely taking the piss. <laughs> oh, like, come on. It's taking way too long for these buggers to get up the beach. Seriously. You reckon they're doing a roll call, correct? I reckon they're doing a roll call. Well, you reckon somebody's missing? Somebody's missing and they're waiting. They're waiting for Susan. She's missing. She's still doing her hair something. She's probably taken by a shark. <laughs> no. So that. If anybody sees a bit of a penguin anywhere flat up by the beach, you let us know. Stop. It's Susan. <laughs> and they've finally arrived. Okay. okay, so that's the mini little penguins at Stanley in Tassie. So if you come down here, it's free, free of charge, heaps of penguins, a lot of fun. They were a bit tardy, weren't they? So cute. It's worth waiting. It is. It's worth having a look at them. Good fun. Good night, especially on a good night like tonight. It's perfect. Yeah. It's about half past ten and we've got a big day, so we're off to bed up in the morning and off on our next adventure. See you then. Good night. Okay, so the plan today is we're heading out to the coast to a place called Marawa, uh, Kuda Rocks. Uh, we're gonna go through Smithton. Uh, Arthur River out that way it was all uh, suggested to me by uh, Mr. Turnoff. It was suggested to us by um, by Big Bert. If you haven't followed his channel, make sure you give him a look. So Big Bert's a local down here, so he's told us which way to go. Yeah, nice way. So off we go. Just leaving uh, Stanley now. Probably I don't know, a couple of hours ride down that way. Should be a fun day. Let's go. in the whole way and we've just found gravel. Now. <laughs> I'll be doing the finger. No, you're not. <laughs> no. 
This I'm is not the black. dirtiest I'm black, you don't. ever been. Okay. Well, that was 22 k's of hell. What do you think of that, Hugh? Uh, uh, yeah, I'd call it close to hell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but we all stand up right, it's amazing. Yep. This is the dirtiest he's ever been. Yeah. That. Oh, oh, don't do that to the bike, you'll strip it. It's black. It was very gentle. I know your thoughts. No comment. <laughs> oh, that was shit. All part of the chaos. Yeah, all part of the adventure. Yep. Yeah. Wow. How beautiful is that? We've made it to Mirawa. What a place this is. Have a look at this. Is that spectacular or what? Almost makes that road in worth it. So we're roughing it for lunch today. Bit of bread hacked off with my uh, Leatherman. Olives. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Oh, hang on. That's, this is B. This is A here. A. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that serrated edge. Please. B. <laughs> B for the cheese. A for the bread. And water. <laughs> look at that. It's a feast. Humble. What do you reckon? Very good. It's not the bakery. It's not. It's not a bakery, but the bread was baked in a bakery. So that's that's we're halfway there. Glad I had that uh, coating put on. Have a look. It's dirty as all. Dirty as all buggery. About your wife, what? Jesus! I've got a freaking bad back, and you're worried about dirtying your bike. Oh, dinners! The back will heal. The back will heal. To the two old dears that told us it was bitumen all the way here. I know you think it's funny, and you're probably sitting there cackling to yourself. Good one. So from here we are off to Arthur's River, I think it's called, Arthur's River, then the Cooter Rocks, it's like a big loop. Then we head back towards Stanley tonight and the pub. Okay, heading to Cooter Rocks, more gravel road, but only a kilometre, so not too bad. Another gravel road. This is Cooter Rocks. Pretty little spot. Bit of a goat track getting in here, but uh, worth a, worth coming in. Really nice. I think I'll put the drone up and have a look.
Kuta Rocks has a grand population. Seven. It's thriving metropolis. Seven, yes, that's right, seven. We've actually increased it by 50% just, just by us rocking up here. They've now actually put on a second lot of staff at the local uh, takeaway in the pub just to cater for our needs. That's bullshit, I'm just lying. <laughs> now, just a heads up coming in. The road into Kuta Rocks is heavily corrugated. Heavily corrugated. Uh, I'm sure they graded at certain times, but when we're here, it's heavily corrugated. So if you're coming in on a Harley, just be a little bit careful coming in. The traction isn't great. But if you take your time, you should be fine. So we just made it to the Arthur River, which is on that road coming back from, oh geez, my knee, coming back from uh, Cooter Rocks. Have a look at this. <laughs> How magnificent is that? Just beautiful here, honestly, it is just beautiful. Check this out. What do you reckon, Hugh? The view just keeps getting better, don't they, mate? Oh, Tasmania, they've got so much to offer in terms of views, is not it? Yeah, it's just the whole day has been ridiculous. Yeah, it's been all different varieties of views we've had. Yeah. We've had wild ocean, we've had sleepy little fishing villages, dirt roads, um, and now this, the Spirus, with its incredible lakes, uh, rivers going through it. It's just Guys, if you haven't been over here, get over here. I know I keep saying it, but it is just, <laughs> it's just next level, Fairdigham. And the roads, how good are the roads? Oh, actually, I said it earlier when we did that last leg. It, it was just, there wasn't even a ripple on them. No. Not like we get in Victoria. No. Uh, puddles, puddle, puddle city. Maybe we look after the roads around here. Wow. <laughs> now, I know I've been talking about the views all day, but how's this for a view? Not Hugh, he's in the way, look at him. It was one of the best rides I've ever had today, park and drive. That was awesome. It was stunning. Look at that. I had everything. What do you reckon? Who needs a drone when you get up here like this? Look at this. <laughs> How cool is that? So Stanley's actually on a peninsula. 
So I'm standing basically in the middle of the peninsula. So that side is the, uh, you've got the ocean coming in and that side over there is the inlet. That there is the nut. Just so beautiful. It is just absolutely beautiful, stunning. The whole day's been amazing, it's just crazy. Well, hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're now gonna go and get a, a well-earned beer, something to eat, we've been going all day. It's been a fantastic day. We've seen so much, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Catch you tomorrow, who knows where, but it'll be on the island of Tasmania somewhere, and we'll bring you more of this stuff. See you then.